Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So unfortunately the night has just settled in but let's just have a look through a couple couple things that I've done off camera. So we'll bring back the UI and let's keep it at two times the speed. So what I've noticed, uh, one of the longer droughts, I believe it was about 20 days long, has just ended and as it ended and when the rainy season started uh, I noticed that uh, the water had run out in this little pool that we have and that's uh, that's a big problem yeah that is definitely a big a very big problem so uh, this is one of the things we are going to have to fix in this episode so the first one would be to put another layer why don't we just do it straight away so hopefully I will notice it later and also remember to do a little fix as well uh, I think we'll do two one two uh, yep there we go and another couple as well. Oh, Mr. Okay, here we go. Fixed up. And then we'll um, pull some roads in here. I'm thinking, is it a direct route? Uh, there's no log piles here. Actually, yeah, this will be perfectly fine. Uh, it goes back a little bit. We're not going to reach all the way here anyways. I don't think we will. Oh, wait a second. This might be even better. So why don't we pull this road? Yeah, I didn't think I'll uh, stop making those improvements right away, but you know what? Why not? Let's just uh, get this done and then we'll see. As soon as the stairs are in place, we'll be able to see, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, fix number one. Water needs to be solved. And worst case scenario, what we can do is we can raise it one by one level just by building levees around this space here as well. All right, so second thing, we do want to start making some dynamites as well, and it's already taken a long time. I, I guess I've just kind of skipped it, and um, I've decided now is a good time. So these wheels, power wheels, are they're not going to be enough power. So quick fix over here, just a couple of... Why are you bossed? Okay, we definitely need you built. Um, yeah, a couple of wheels over here. We'll pray for the wind, and now I just got to figure out where... Where is the um, explosives factory going to go? Yeah, that's... Uh, I guess we could do you right about here. Yep, it's uh, this long. And we do have to step down. Yeah, this uh, should be okay, right? Yep, alright. So, quick fix for here as well. Get this built as quick as you can. And there we go. Dynamites are going to be right about there. It was you bossed as well. Yes, you were. So slightly higher priority for these sections in here. Okay, and this one. And I probably should have done the same for the stairs. Okay, get this constructed first. Because uh, we want to complete it before the next round starts. I hope we have enough time. Alright, so let's go into our production zone. And a few upgrades have happened here as well. So during the drought, we lost all the water in this canal, which was to be expected. But it seems uh, this little water dump was enough to keep this whole area fertile. Yeah, um, we did lose the fertility in this corner here, but that's okay. Most of the trees were covered, uh, except these ones in this corner. So I think we're pretty good. Uh, what I've also done is the distribution center right there is now distributing into drop-off drop -off points that are slightly closer to the uh, lumber mills. And the main reason for that is we, we are going to move this district center out of the way very, very soon. So I'm just really waiting for them to take the last of the grilled potatoes out. But no one's really doing that. Well, that's okay. Okay, now a slightly bigger update is in this corner here. So what I've done, a bit of a maze with the warehouses. So they're going to hold blanks. Um, once the, whilst I was constructing it, I realized that, well, we've got a ton of warehouses with blanks already. And uh, it's a, yeah, there's a, quite, a, quite a few extra ones, but I guess we'll do... Maybe one for, for the planks, so they are a little bit closer. 
and the rest can be gears just uh, stockpiling them in case we are gonna need a ton of them in the future all right and at the top we just have a little funky layout with the gear workshops i'm actually starting to like this um, sort of unorganized at least seemingly unorganized way a little bit more it just feels more organic natural the things have been uh, built over time and expanded based on the needs even though we just plopped it down all together but uh, yeah so i thought oh okay uh, it was a little tricky figuring out where the ladders are going as well so there's one one there second one here and the third access point right about there and then i felt like uh oh we're gonna have to do another gear workshop right about here because the power isn't passing through and then i remembered Wait, we've got all these warehouses connected at the ground level, so we should be fine. And I think you already noticed as well, we are going to pull the power through this house here. I believe this is either connected or will be connected very soon. I think all we have to do, yep, is just... Sorry for moving the camera around so erratically. Uh, there we go. This... Um, connector is going to go right into that corner and then it passes through those warehouses into this house and we are going to have one more link just don't want to place it yet i want them to be able to construct as many of those sections here as possible okay end of the day let's skip it and then we'll move into our next little project all right so there we go time to check how far can those beavers go so it seems yeah as predicted not quite the length that we want so i've already queued up a few demolition commands over here as well so we are gonna place a district center right about here and a few log piles i guess somewhere here as well just to bring those logs a little bit closer whilst we're not looking and maybe uh, focused on some other things uh, right so those beavers will clear that area up very quickly i hope and uh, let's see how is this section going all right, so we've done a couple of platforms. Uh, what can you not have? Paper. Oh. Right. How many blanks? Oh, you got 62. Okay, I guess... Highest um, <laughs> priority for you, as soon as the paper is done, please have that windmill completed. Okay, back to this production zone in here. Uh, what I've also done, so the gears are now explained and sorted. Now, moving up here, I do want to store a little bit more water here. So it has been a, a kind of a rush to get those levees in place where they need to be. And I think we're, yeah, I think we're doing pretty well with this. Um, there's only three of them missing. So what's going to happen as soon as this uh, little pool fills up as well? the overflow or rest of it is gonna start flooding into this canal over here i have also noticed that um, we made a bit of a mistake here so let's uh, fix you up as well uh, right we'll get a levy here you go okay yep you can oh oh that's fine we can leave this uh, set of stairs over there so that's okay and we will just have to relocate you right about here okay there we go i think they're quite busy with some other tasks right now such as the levy wall over here yep we got a beaver army walking over so that will be done fairly quickly i believe and then uh, let's just check this canal as well right now it can only run till about here and is the water already coming no it's not wait oh I see. I think we may have a problem out oh here. Same thing actually happened. One second. Let me bring it over here. I was constructing this dam over here and then quickly realized, wait, why is there no water coming through? I looked to the other side and yeah, all the water was going to the opposite side. So I had to demolish the middle section there. So exact same problem. It seems I did not learn from my mistake so um yeah i'm glad we noticed it at least even though i think we would be fine since there is a uh, water coming from the other waterfall but um yeah we wouldn't be able to fill up those pools in here 
Right, okay, so quite a lot of levies going in place. There's only two left in here. And now it makes me wonder... Oh, it is at... No, it's not at the right height. Okay, you're gonna have to be paused then, aren't you? A uh, little bit annoying, but oh well. It is what it is. Right, another goal for this episode is... I, I do want to start doing... Uh, constructing you right there. So what do we need? Metal, mine, and with the direction, I want to leave the scrap metal where it is, those little towers. So that means we can't build it facing that way. Uh, we can't also do it this way because of that little hill here. I mean, we could of course dynamite it, but we don't have the dynamites. Another option is to, towards the left, but there's nothing on that side. So I guess we'll face it this way. Yeah, why not? Okay, uh, with the stairs, could either go directly up or... Yeah, I think we're, we're, we're just going to build it directly up. I mean, we're not going to put anything right next to it, are we? Nope. Right like so, as soon as... Oh, you're too far. Okay. Well, here comes the water. Okay, so a little bit did fill up this section here. Well, that's good to know, because as soon as you get there... There was a levies done. Uh, let's see. I have a feeling someone is going to get stuck in here, aren't they? So why don't you focus on those sections first? What else are you guys building? Oh, the power bus through. Okay, I don't mind that at all. You've done this section here. Will you be able to do? Yes, you will. So we can connect you up now. Okay, fantastic. Let's uh, leave you be for a second. We shall check on okay i'll pause it before those trees start to expand everywhere okay there we go district center oh okay couple trees still in the way uh here we go you're gonna and one more all right so you're gonna go right about there can we do another storage yes we can Okay, so that's good. And I think for the time being, we'll just connect you up and later we can disconnect you. So it's nice and easy. And um, can we get these sections done as well? That would be uh, super lovely. All right, roads. Um, quick fix over here. And when you look at that, we do have the large, large windmill now. How much power are we getting... I don't think it's enough, but uh, let's look at landscaping real quick. We need 400 science, which we do have. We've got the metal already as well. And everything else should be fine, right? Okay, why don't we purchase you? And... Right, well, there we go. Alright, so the next thing really is for us to move this district center over. And, hmm, what's the best way to do it? I guess we could. Um, I don't want them running too far out. Do you know what? I, never mind. We'll remove you. Now we have no one here. Everyone's going to run back to our main colony. Uh, let's just uh, grab you. It is a little bit painful, but... Oh well. Ah, a little tricky to find a good spot in here. But we'll um, test this out real quick. So how far can you go? You can't quite go over there, which is fine. It reaches all the important stuff in here. Okay, I don't think we'll be doing much of uh, construction here anyways. And... Oh, okay, we don't have the staircase system in place, but... We'll definitely be able to reach here, and I think the goal, what I'd love to do, I'd like to close this section here up a little bit more as well. Not sure how we're going to get down here, because it's covered in trees. I guess we, we are going to have to go around, if it allows us to, of course. Oh yeah, it's very overgrown. Ugh, that's annoying. I mean, we could always, I guess, build some bridges over if we have to. I don't think we have to. But who knows. I hope we can just sort of go around. 
Um, this means I should probably, just in case, block this area in. I mean, there's no trees coming from that side, but... Uh, yeah, you never know. Alright, there we go. You're just gonna go this way. Over. Maybe even down from here. Um, we'll see. And you're gonna have to... Let's see. Right about there, and then we take the trees out. Okay, here we go. Let's unpause you. Um, no, pause you again. Never mind. I think we're happy. So, I should have probably checked how many beavers we had here before. Oh, wait a second. Did they move back in? Oh, okay. That's surprising, because I do remember... Maybe they've updated something then. Because what happened before, if you remove a district center and there's... Um, they'll just um, jump to the closest one, which in this case would have been our main district. But it seems uh, they have not done so. Okay. Right, we are going to need some trees. Hopefully they will haul some over. Uh, uh, wait a second. Ah, right, we are still connected. Right, there we go. And you have the full full range. Okay, so that's... Perfect, we are just gonna need some some logs in this log pile as soon as... Let's give you a priority actually as well, there we go. And as soon as that is filled with logs, we can start constructing the levy dam over there. Right, how are we doing here? I don't think we have a lot of paper in this district, do we? No. Got six in, but we shall give you a bit of, bit of time. I think we're gonna need a lot more paper though, aren't we? Uh, yes, we are. So maybe it would not hurt to have another paper factory. Let's see. Right about here seems like a like a solid location, and we'll connect you up as well. All right. Well, there we go. Hmm. Wheels. I was thinking of taking them out and maybe putting some more windmills in, but it's kind of nice to have a bit of a backup power. And since we are... Oh, not a lot of blanks. They are all going somewhere right now, aren't they? So you need paper. Paper is... Uh, maybe we do the windmill first. Yep, that would be preferable. And then you will be right after... Okay, there we go, and then we can do a couple more up here as well, I believe. Okay, so, how is our power link going? Uh, very slowly is the answer. A little bit disappointed, guys. Let's see. Okay, fine. I mean, we did have the, the time post for a little while as well, so that's, that's okay. How much blanks do we have here? How many? I mean, 358, but no gears. Oh, we're not producing them yet because we don't have the power. So, yeah, this is a bit of a priority, I suppose. Okay, all of you guys in. And this one at the back as well. And then the power should feed through. And I'm starting to think it might not be enough. What are we lacking? Gears, but we're not producing gears. Oh, a bit of a dead end in there. Okay. Yeah, as soon as the power link is finished, we can start making some gears. Um, maybe even pausing at least one of them. I think we are pretty much okay with the blanks right now. And, alright, let's uh, skip ahead a little bit. Uh-oh, I think we are going to have a bit of a problem. How many logs do you have? Um... <laughs> How many blanks, uh, sorry, logs are you going to take? Uh, 12. So that's already 120 in there. I mean, we could make it a little bit cheaper if we remove. I'm not sure if two will be enough. Um, because <laughs> we've got water coming from, well, a couple from there. And also from the other side. So, right, we are going to need four beavers here. It's going to take them up quite a while to fill it up, isn't it? I mean, we could, we could also, it is quite far away. But we could do another, 
log pile right about here. Yep, that would be very helpful. And let's say we want District 1 to send us one, two, three, four of your best beavers. Right, and we need to sever the link right like so as well. Oh, there we go. And get to building. Where are you guys? Oh, it was paused. Okay, there we go. Uh, is anyone running over? Nope. Ah, uh, there we go. Here's one of them. Second one. And off they go. Right, the area is clear. We'll build a second log pile. And we'll have it filled as well. So we can alternate between the two of them. As we will run out of the logs pretty quickly. Right, what do you think? Are we going to make it in uh, in less than three days? I think it's possible. If we had some more higher well-being or more beavers. I mean, it is quite a few levees in here. Plus the dams, they take the most of the logs. I don't think all five will be enough, so... Uh, never mind, let's, uh, let's just do four of them. Right. And off we, off we go. Let's check on something else. Power. Okay, halfway there. That's pretty good. Uh, you're not done yet. Oh, because we don't have blanks, do we? No. Okay, so there's one place producing them. Bit of a bottleneck, it seems. Oh no, we're not going to have power because we don't have gears. Okay. Yep. How many gears do you have? 58. Uh, okay. Let's uh, send a couple over. Where are you? Gears and I think what we could do... Let's set a limit on this because we're not going to need a hundred. Maybe five. Five should be enough. So once we have five in our second district, uh, they'll just stop bringing them in. So it seems the beavers have already been up here as well. They are constructing... Oh. Also you, although you're not the highest of priorities right now. And to stop you from going all the way around, uh, someone's definitely going to get stuck on this side. Um, what we'll do, a couple of stairs in place, and then we would like you, what's the price difference? Oh, uh, you're just going to take more planks, but planks we have in here, or we could also do, do it like so. Hmm, I think distance wise, oh, why don't we check? Oh, you're still green over here. Okay, so the stairs, we shall make the highest priority. I have a feeling someone's going to get stuck as they, as they go through, but oh well, we'll um, fix it when it happens. Right, so 2.3 days, let's uh, fly over real quick. They've only done one. Nothing. Oh, just a few in... Uh, hmm, <laughs> right. I think we will have to do something differently. Oh dear. Um, first of all, let's send you back to District 1 because it is nighttime. And now we gotta do some thinking. Um, do you have to build another workers, what's it called? Uh, the Builder's Workshop quickly let's have a uh, build this hut there we go but the location is a little bit tricky because I mean I think we had problems with planks yes we don't okay what we'll do is we're not gonna stress out too much about this uh, section in here we'll build it slow and it will be ready for the next route I think we're just gonna have to pray that this one isn't gonna be another 20 days Although, since we do have these sections, we could, I guess, extract water from here. So maybe a couple of water pumps. Yeah, we could do one, a few in here, a few in here. And once you get close to, oh, never mind. 
Are you going to be able to close this off in time? I'm not sure, but I guess we'll see. All right, quick uh, little check. How are we doing th with the power wires? I'm pretty sure we sent some of the gears over. Okay, we do have five. Right. Don't forget, this is the utmost, the highest priority. Power is definitely flowing through those buildings. Yep, I can see those spinning. 621 hamster power, so that's good. And I have forgotten to finish this section here as well, but that's fine. That's alright. I do really want to close this section off. I think we might have enough time. Actually, if we don't worry too much about that, that section there, I guess we could do it right about here instead. Yep, how about three of you? The highest priority again. Oh, sorry, I forgot to uh, speed up the time. Okay, just like so. And also for you, highest priority. Oh, there's a few more stairs. Right, it might take a little bit longer, but we should have enough beavers to get it done quickly enough, I suppose. Um, hmm, <laughs> oh yeah, these sections here as well. Well, it seems the beavers are going. Are they bringing over the gears? I truly hope so. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Why do you have to... Okay, I think I see why. So that one's done. Will they be able to construct? I uh, hope so. Right? Alright, we'll see. And as predicted, one of our beavers was smart enough to get stuck. Oh, we have to delete this set of stairs instead. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, you can go all the way around this way? Oh, fine. Okay. Uh, we are going to change you up just like so. And, right, get these ones done. I think we're going to have to drop the priority a little bit because I do want the power flow to be completed. Is it done? We've got a beaver here. All right, off we go. Let's get someone working here as well. Where are you, Vin? Okay, he's working now. The power's coming in, right? Oh, I need planks. Okay, so maybe you are... <laughs> Okay, access seems a little funky as well, but we can fix it later. Oh, there we go. We're definitely producing gears now. Alright, so that means we can stop sending you over. And, alright, happy days. So we got the power through. We are now producing gears. We've relocated our district center. And we're starting to build the mine as well, although that's going to take a little bit longer. So what I'll probably do is um, just a tiny bit of off-camera work. And setting up the treated blanks factory. And I'll have those stairs finished as well. I don't think they're going to be done before the drought starts. However, you know, we'll work towards it. What else did we get done? So we are working towards a fix with this uh, levee wall. And, and I've just realized I forgot to send the beavers over last, uh, last day. But that's okay. We'll uh, try and have it constructed during the drought. And uh, maybe for the next one, we'll uh, have it, you know, constructed and uh, ready ready to go. I guess we're just going to have to hope that this drought isn't going to be longer than 20 days. Otherwise, we might have uh, some additional problems at our hand. And these pools, they're not that deep, to be honest. So they're going to dry up rather quickly as well. Uh, which means we are going to have to make our way up there. Hopefully it's in range to secure that side as well. Right, so that's quite a few few things for this episode. Uh, slow and steady uh, wins the race, they say, but uh, I guess we'll we'll see. I really hope we are going to be able to keep those beavers alive. So far, things have been going pretty nicely, I'd say. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>